Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, welcome back to part two of our revisit of the cattle drive. And we're applying our rapid expansion strategy as a bit of a test to see if it's really going to stand up to this kind of a scenario. And we're using really two pieces of the four steps of the uh, rapid expansion strategy. We're using that early expansion and we're using the cattle wheat um, uh, strategy because we're really, we're not looking to grow cities uh, in huge ways like uh, select cities. We're looking at, at trying to get city growth, growth in multiple places because we need to have multiple meat industries where we're producing meat and moving it uh, in, into Omaha. That's the main part of, uh, of what we're trying to accomplish in this scenario. And we do have a side task to get reach a population of 400,000 connected in two years, which is pretty strong. Or by 1852, so I guess that would be three years. So uh, we're right now in uh, about the middle of 1852, so we're in, in our third year. We've connected uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, at least nine cities to our, our network now. We have, and every one of them is a beer meat run. And now we're going to go down. We just got through connecting a beer meat uh, set up in um, Dodge City because we had just opened up, uh, purchased a um, meat industry in Dodge City and we want Dodge City to grow so we have the ability to expand that business. And so uh, we, we ran a, a line over to Raton so we could get the beer and meat thing going. And now we're going to set up uh, yet another one going all the way up to Omaha. This one's from Amarillo. And we're going to run it all the way up past Wichita and kind of run it in. And then we realize here, this is where, I think I mentioned this in part one, but I, I kind of made a little uh, planning error here. I ran the line from um, Dodge City up there and put it parallel to the Wichita line. I really should have left space in there to uh, run Amarillo between them because it's sort of if, if you look at them north to south the Dodge City it would it should have been Dodge City then Amarillo then Wichita farthest to the right the way we're looking at it here but that didn't work out so uh, we're gonna have to kind of jump over the um, Dodge City line no big deal but um, had had we reserved some space we could have avoided this big old bridge here and saved ourselves some money and and avoided uh uh, building a bridge, but no biggie, no biggie. It works out great. It's not ridiculously expensive. So, um, and and at this point, we're making money. That's the other thing too. We're, we've got plenty of money, so we're we're gonna have this long line running uh, meat from Amarillo up to Omaha. So now, when, once this one's done, we will be pumping uh, into Omaha meat from um, Sioux Falls. Wichita, Dodge City, and Amarillo. And we're going to build, you know, expand those meat industries and the cattle ranches that, that provide uh, the cattle to them as much as we can so that we can um, uh, produce the meat as quickly as possible and, of course, ship it as quickly as possible. So here's one of my... Uh, railroad track super highways haven't built one of these in a while I've, I kind of miss them so uh, kind of glad uh, glad to do this and uh, go back to the old ways and and have these uh, six tracks running parallel they, they look kind of cool unrealistic perhaps but cool
Okay, so we're taking a look at what we've got left to do. And basically, the main thing is to uh, ship the, the meat to Omaha. But we also have a fourth uh, cattle uh, ranch to hook up. And right there it is, right uh, just coincidentally, <laughs> uh, next to Amarillo. And we're going to hook that one up to the meat industry we just as we've uh, got there in Amarillo and now there goes our task completed we've got all four cattle ranches hooked up to the to our network and we'll be able to provide uh, all the cattle that Amarillo needs and then Amarillo will be able to go ahead and ship that meat on to Omaha so we're in great shape now we've got again our four uh, locations that ship directly to Omaha we do have uh, another uh, meat industry up in Rapid City that was part of our uh, rapid expansion. And so now we're going to set up that line for Amarillo. And we'll use that same technique when we do set the line from Amarillo to Omaha of kind of saying you run full, but your priority is uh, meat. And, and uh, if, you, if you can top off with passengers or whatever, uh, go for it. But basically we want you to to prioritize meat in your shipments. And we're running full just because it's such a long line. I don't want to have a bunch of traffic running up there with one boxcar of passengers and some mail, which I don't even care about. That I means it doesn't even have anything to do with our, our deal at this point. We're making so much money, we don't really, the revenue's irrelevant. It isn't helping us with our tasks. You always like to make more money, but it's just that's not the point right here. So we're going to ship, ship, uh, run a bunch of trains between Amarillo and Omaha. Again, running full, so they may end up down here queuing uh, and waiting to, for their turn, but that's okay. We'll be able to ship as quickly as possible. And we're also looking at this and saying, uh, you know what? Why not have a beer meat run here and let Amarillo grow? So we're going to go over here to... Santa Fe, which also has a beer industry, and we're going to set up a line between Santa Fe and Amarillo to promote growth in Amarillo and to um, allow us to upgrade the beer industry in Amarillo. So we decided to go around that mesa and get down here in the river valley, which is uh, more real. That's more realistic to the way trains are typically. You, you see trains, you know, where I grew up in West Virginia, you, just all the time you would see uh, trains running in a valley like that. There would be a road and some body of water, either a creek or, creek or a river. <laughs> I almost said creek. Ah, wow, the accent's coming back. Um, <laughs> wow. So uh, where did that come from? So um, you would see uh, three things going through the little valley. You would see a road, water waterway, either a creek or a river, and a railroad track. That would, that's classic West Virginia going through the hollers, so to speak. And uh, and then then whenever there was a little spot that had some level ground, you'd see a few houses thrown in. That That's classic West Virginia right there. So I was just kind of counting those off in my head. I think we have nine beer meat lines running. Remember, we converted uh, Omaha uh, meat industry into a brewery because it had nearby wheat, and uh, you don't get credit for creating uh, meat in Omaha. You only get credit for shipping it there. And so all those lines, we've got four different places going to Omaha. Every one of those is technically, is really a beer meat line because they're all producing meat on one end and Omaha's producing beer to, to potentially ship back. And in fact, in this layout, we could, and there you see us upgrading the meat industry 
in Wichita and we'll have to go out and upgrade our um, our ranch cattle ranch to uh, try to match it so that we can uh, provide it with uh, uh, a steady stream of cattle but um, but anyway what I was saying was uh, one way to make a ton of money if you were, if you were worried about money here and, and you know or the scenario was slightly different you would you would really pump the uh, wheat into that uh, brewery in Omaha and then level it up to a level five and it would be shipping out in four different directions and would have tons of customers it would it could, could immediately ship everything it could produce and it would sell some in, in Omaha so it'd be really selling in five cities and you could make just a, a ton of money on that brewery in Omaha and that little configuration by the way you know as we've talked about that when we do some of our theoretical discussions about Grand Rapids up there, where it's the only brewery up there in that Grand Rapids, Toledo, Louisville, Indianapolis area. Uh, you could do the same thing there and just make a lot of money from that brewery because it can become the the uh, beer side of three or four beer meat lines. So that, that that's a great thing. And here's, uh, I forgot this one actually, I think we have 10. Oklahoma City, we want it to keep growing. We want it to keep uh, creating uh, beer to, to uh, uh, move up to Wichita so Wichita can keep growing so we're going to move uh, we're going to make sure that we ship wheat into Oklahoma City to um, keep that uh, brewery there happy and, and productive and this is worth repeating I've said this multiple times some of you are probably sick of it but when you think about these when you're when you're throwing the, the cattle and the wheat into these uh, beer meat lines you're getting great revenue off these little freight shipment lines right here. Like this will be a very profitable line where we're running wheat into Oklahoma City. We've got a very prof very profitable line where we're running the cattle into Wichita. And now because they're they're shipping uh, meat and beer back and forth, the city to city line is very profitable because it runs closer to full all the time. So it's just a beautiful thing all the way around. And this particular scenario, especially the way we're playing it here, is just a great example of, of what I would think of as kind of building out rather than building up. Because what we're doing here is kind of classic, uh, in real-time strategy, you see this, this kind of a, a, a deal going on a lot. What we're doing is building... Um, we're, we're not we're kind of in a in mid mid-sized cities we're building a lot of mid-sized cities because of the, of the uh, uh, we're supplying them with beer and meat and wheat and um, and that's enough to get them up to a pretty decent size and and the only thing else we're throwing in here uh, because we're fo so focused on on uh, on the meat industry is wherever we have an opportunity like here if you get if you get like a little bonus you grab it and you throw some um, logs in here to go down to the to uh, or in this case up to Wichita and we'll probably throw logs down uh, you know occasionally that'll go down to um, Oklahoma City because they're there but that's not really uh, it's just a, an opportunity it was a bonus that we could grab we did the same thing up between um, Rapid City and uh, Cheyenne in the uh, in part one of this but the point is that you can build these cities to, uh, you know, across the map to pretty decent size uh, just with the beer meat lines. And we're just running, we're still running. Philadelphia is everywhere and they work just, just fine. We could upgrade to the Dragons, and I do, I do love the Dragon, as, as it's my favorite train from this time period, but um, the Philadelphias are just more than capable for, for getting this done, particularly if you're careful and you don't build a lot of inclines. And if, you, you know, if your railroad tracks are laid out so they're pretty level, I, the, the um, locomotive becomes less and less relevant. You just want to make sure you don't get one where you have an express train with very limited tractive power trying to pull freight, that won't work. Particularly if there's any incline at all, they will, they will uh, just choke.
So at this point, all we have left is continuing that shipment of, of meat, which we really got set up now. We've got that kind of set up. We'll just watch it and see if we have opportunities to expand our meat industries or our cattle ranches. But we're, we're in great shape on, on that front. So now the big thing for us is to um, buy out Beatrix. And also we have an optional task to run our cattle production up to or meat production up to 20 and that's why i keep looking at this how can we uh i want to buy that industry i want to um uh upgrade it so this is uh so we're going to buy that industry in amarillo hopefully beatrix won't be able to outbid us i don't think she will well actually i know she will because i already played this sorry but um we got our <laughs> we got our meat industry and we're going to upgrade it uh, anytime there's an uh, available upgrade, we take it. And we're going to check out our cattle ranch and make sure we're checking. We need 7.2 weekly for the brewery. So we're going to upgrade our um, cattle ranch to make sure we're producing this, uh, matching that. And we got it, we're got we a little short on funds right now. We need a little more money to uh, get it all the way up to where it's going to match. The meat industry, the one thing about it, uh, it really does... Uh, use a lot of meat. I mean, it, 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 it uses a lot of cattle. Uh, so you really have to have a, a good source for cattle to have an efficient uh, meat industry. You think that is a good idea? So here we notice that there's a textile industry in, in Sioux Falls that has been built. And so we're going to uh, take advantage of that and, and uh, supply it with cotton, which is nearby and be a very profitable run. Now, Sioux Falls has reached 90,000, which means it can take a third industry. If we're going to put something in there, we want something that can definitely be uh, provided resources and something that uh, cities that Sioux Falls connected with, namely Omaha and Pierre, can use. Lumber is the obvious choice, um, uh, although we do have that lumber coming up from uh, Wichita. But because it's so easy to, to run that uh, lumber down, and, and you can still sell the lumber off to uh, Pierre and to Sioux Falls and make a profit on it. So if we do build one, we'll, well, that's, what, that's where we'll go is, is the lumber. But right now, again, we're still worried about the, the main thing is just keep these uh, meat industries growing. And here, I finally decided, well, they're going to give me a bonus for this. So it's a, I have to build a, a freebie uh, 
industry. It's just hard to pass it up. So we got a half a million dollar bonus for, for spending 400000 and that'll almost pay for the log line to, to provide it. So this is just going to be pure profit. Not that the money, again, not that the money matters at this point, but still, it's nice to have the income. And I was going to, I'd actually, that um, tower coming from the cotton line, I'd put it as far down as I felt like I could, close to the station, hoping I could reuse it. Uh, but it turns out it's just too big a turn, so I decided, ah, we'll just build another tower, no big deal. So now we'll have a, a profitable lumber business. We'll have a profitable shipping of the logs. You know, uh, one, once you have the money, uh, you know, you, you almost can't, can't help but make more money in this game. Another quick note here, notice that um, Sioux Falls has grown to 90,000 and we've given it nothing. We've given it cattle. It's getting beer from two places. So it's getting a steady supply of beer from Omaha and, and Pierre. And Overland is probably, it was probably I think uh, we actually it's getting a little fruit, but that's it. And until now, when well, now we've given it cotton and lumber. But it's grown to 90,000 just, just from being on a beer meat line and having a couple of things nearby that it could get over land. So, uh, again, uh, I'm, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but the, but the key to this game is having the beer meat line. That, that, that is the game. That's how you play the game. That's how you make your early profit. That's how you grow your cities in the early and mid stages. Uh, see, here we go. We're getting growth out of um, Amarillo. And once it hits 40,000, we'll be able to expand up to a level three meat industry, which we want to do. So again, just by having that uh, that beer line going over to Raton, uh, that's allowing, um, I'm sorry, that was um, Dodge City. It's growing. And now down here, same, same deal in Amarillo. It's growing. And it's growing just because it has that beer line uh, from Santa Fe. So by having the beer meat lines for both of those, we're growing both of those cities without really doing anything else to them. And that's going to allow us to expand the meat industries that we own in both of those cities up to level three. So now we're looking at how much money do we need to buy Beatrix? And we're going to take a look at how much can we raise. You really and we can raise a pretty fair sum. So we're going to repay that one bond. We can get three million dollars, so we decide we're going to wait until we have enough money to pay off the other bond. Because you want to buy, if, ideally, you want to buy the entire. When you buy an opponent, you want to buy them in one fell swoop if you can. If you can't, you want to get as close as you can. So you want to you want to grab as much of them as you can. You don't want to get into piecemeal mode where you're buying one percent, five percent, something like that, because their value sometimes can grow faster than yours if you're not reinvesting your money on growing your business. So um, you want to you want to get as much, if not all, of that uh, competitor's stock in one fell swoop. So I've decided here to kind of help uh, Amarillo grow a little bit. Why not? We've got the time. We're waiting on the money and. We're spending some money on this, but it'll actually repay its for its pay for itself rather quickly, and, and we'll have additional income coming in from the uh, shipments that it does, and we'll help that city grow, which will then allow us to expand our uh, meat industry even yet again. And I looked at the um, flow of goods; it's getting corn overland, so and it, it's getting some logs but by sent, by putting these logs in here directly we're going to make sure uh, one make sure it gets a steady uh, source of, of logs to help it grow and two we, we might as well make the money on it
And the other reason I'm looking so hard at trying to expand these meat industries is because we want to get that 20 production. We want to, we want to hit all of our optional tasks. And Wichita's at a level three, and that's as high as it can go for now. We would have to hit, I believe, 60,000 population to be a qualify for a level four. I like how they do that. A city has to be big enough to have the infrastructure in place and the and potential employees and what have you for you to really grow your business. So that, that's, a, that's a nice little correlation with real life there, I think. Or a good simulation, I guess I should say. So there I do have the opportunity to expand that brewery. We know it can ship in, in to multiple cities, so we definitely want it to, to expand it. And we're still watching our cash grow. And I'm kind of tired of waiting at this point. So we've got three million. Oh, I want to, I want to be able to expand. So I've got, to, I want to buy that meat industry in Sioux Falls. They're really targeting that uh, production of 20. So now we have another meat industry in Sioux Falls and we have that cash so we can upgrade it. So it's going to make more, you know, we'll upgrade it a couple of times to a level four. Now, provided it can keep enough cattle, and that's going to be the challenge for it because that's a long drive. Uh, that's a long line to get that cattle all the way down there to um, Sioux Falls. We already got seven trains running on it. And we'll give it a couple more. Okay, we're really close on that production. We're up to 17. And we can put a business in Amarillo and uh, we're going to expand the meat industry first. And, and we've got logs running in, so why not put in a sawmill? That seems to be our favorite little secondary industry here is the sawmill. But this map happens to have in the places where we are, there happens to be uh, readily available logs. So here I decide that medium industry in Billings has nothing to do with Omaha. I'm not going to have enough time to, to ship meat all the way over there. But if I can just hook it up with a little beer meat line, <laughs> our usual, and get it started, it might be just enough to push me over the edge on, on the production. So there you can see the conflict. I, I bought that meat industry in Billings because it was for sale because it wasn't profitable. I'm trying to figure out how to put my station in there. And I want to run it over to Miles City to that beer. And first I want to run it all the way to the um, cattle ranch so I can get some cattle coming in. And also it has to be hooked up to my network or I won't be able to um, hook up with um, any other cities. And I think I just put construct uh, a uh, repair shop on that one. And I don't know if I've put that anywhere. I, I think that's the first place I've put any uh, repairs. 
And that's just, I, and I, I've said this before, but I think that's a shame on this game. Uh, you should not be able to run a game for, we're in our fourth year and have zero, count them, zero, well, with that exception, uh, maintenance shed. So we're not maintaining our equipment at all. And yet we're, our, our economy is booming and we're making really good bucks and, and doing well on the um, scenario. And that should not, that's, you shouldn't be able to do that. In my opinion, that's just my opinion, but that's, I just, I just can't imagine that, that, that a well-run uh, railroad would have no repairs for, for its trains. That's just hard for me to imagine. No regular maintenance. Imagine you you never check the oil on your car, never check the tire pressure, never and you know never have the the tires rotated or balanced or anything else. You just run it. <laughs> Hard to believe somebody would run a railroad like that, but we do. <laughs> That's what we're doing. One of your trains has a problem. There we go. We just hit the 20, and that one we're building up there, I guess, didn't even help because we hadn't shipped a single piece of piece yet. But maybe it was producing. Maybe it had a little cattle. Probably had some cattle. Probably produced. Probably did push us. Let's just say it pushed us over the edge. It was a brilliant move to take that one. That's what we'll say. That's, we're going to go with that. So we got our 20 out of 20. We're doing our 20 production. Uh, all we got to do now is finish off uh, shipping all that thousand meat to Omaha, and we want to buy out Beatrix. So you can see our cash now. We're about a million dollars. We're, we're starting to rock in the money. Anytime we just stop buy, building for even just a, a moment, we uh, can rack up cash fairly quickly. Oh, so we're going to repay that that bond as fast as we can and we're getting an idea we can get a four million we're going to use the bond to pay off the other bond and open up yet another bond that gives us 1.6 which is a little strange because we apparently were right on the cusp of being able to open up another bond and by that, I mean, we just can't quite qualify for one, but uh, once we have some cash, we will. So you can see we're, 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 again, if we can just stop building for just a minute, we can rake in money. And now we're going to do, <laughs> forget the buyer for a minute, we're going to switch everybody to Dragon. So now every every line we have is going to be running a Dragon. It's going to be running faster. It's going to be able to, to uh, haul um, better. And, uh, and we're also using our money now to expand the meat industry. Even though we really want to buy Beatrix, we're really still focusing on getting that thousand meat up to... Um, Omaha. And even though we hit our 20 out of 20 production, we still want to get, uh, keep that stuff flowing. 
Now we can open up a good size bond, a $4 million one. So we're going to um, take a shot at, uh, at buy, seeing what we need to buy her. So we're hanging in there. We're going to wait and see if we can't pay off that other big bond and then open two large bonds, which should uh, give us just about enough money to uh, take care of Beatrix. And there we, do you notice how that we could open a bond, we couldn't open it? That's where you get that 10% of your company, but there it comes back. We're just kind of riding on that uh, wave of 10% value right here because the bonds are getting bigger and bigger. It goes away and comes back. But basically, once we shut up that, once we close that bigger bond, the big one we have open, then, then we'll be in great, great shape. And we're close. We're close. All right, so there goes our bond. Now let's see what we can, what kind of trouble we can get into. There we go. Now we got eight million dollars to play with. That's 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 some money. Now we're going to buy as much of Beatrix as that eight million will handle, which is pretty good chunk. And we'll just wait and, and get the rest. We only need a half a million more. And at the rate we're accumulating money now, that will not be a problem. There goes Beatrix. Thanks for playing. We decided to liquidate her and get all her stuff all out of the way and take the cash. So now we've done everything except finish off our um, shipments. And one of the reasons we liquidated her, now we can put, we could have used her lines, but I decided to uh, uh, put in a large station and then run a line all the way over there to that other meat industry we got going in uh, Rapid City. And uh, might as well take advantage of that and see if we can't get some uh, meat going from Rapid City over to Omaha.
And this one we decided to make freight only just to force it to uh, haul the, the meat or uh, it, could, it could throw some other freight on there potentially, but uh, we're not going to uh, fill it up with passengers and mail. So it's going to wait until it has good shipments of meat before it uh, takes off to Omaha. expand that meat industry as much as we can. All right, so you can see we're almost there. We're over 800. We've got five lines running in shipping meat to Omaha. So this will be over with soon. So I'm going to fast forward it to the end and let's see how we did. I take back what I said about fast forwarding because I realize at this point, we finally start putting maintenance on all of our buildings. So we go all around the map, put maintenance on all these stations because we have plenty of money now and we can afford to do it. But I will tell you this, it actually slows us down. We would have actually finished sooner. Now, the, the finish sign time for the meet uh, didn't impact our score, I don't think at all, because we finished in plenty of time. But I, I, actually, if there's any problems, it was a couple of earlier tasks. But this, it, it just it grates on me that adding maintenance hurts you because now what's going to happen, we're going to have at least a quarter slowdown because none of these trains are getting maintenance and they're all going to come in here. Every one of them is going to stop, get maintained, and we're going to start having backups at all of our uh, stations that we didn't have. And, of course, the main ones we want, we want those uh, five meat lines to run uh, uh, smoothly and freely to to get that meat in there as quickly as possible. Well, every train now that comes into the station is going to stop and want to be maintained. In fact, we'll see a great example of it here in a minute. And we'll start seeing some backups that we haven't seen before because we've been very careful about running dedicated lines for all these so that they can run quickly and efficiently. So, uh, again, pet peeve of mine, uh, maintenance should mean more. It really, really should mean more. But I'll get over it. I still, I still love the game. <laughs> so I'm going to let that keep, let this keep running. You can see we're going out here and, and just putting maintain, maintenance everywhere. And we're even as fast as we're spending these eighty thousand, one hundred sixty thousand dollars in a city kind of chunks. We're still making money faster than we can spend it. I was checking in uh, maintenance just to see, or on research to see if we could possibly get out there and maybe get a bald one and upgrade everybody to a bald one or something, but uh, it doesn't really matter. The research is not, it helps you, but in this one it wasn't horribly important. So I think you can see, if you've got good eyes, you can see that the blue uh, trains uh, kind of stacking up. We're at 962 right now, we're almost done. But if we go down, I think we get a close-up here. Yeah, look here. Look at this stack up. We've got three dedicated lines coming in to three different platforms. And they're now stacking up for the first time. The first time we've seen this kind of uh, stacking up. And that's because these trains are going in there and they're being serviced. Every one of them is going in there and being serviced and that's slowing us down. So if, this is, ironically enough, had we never put maintenance on, we would have finished faster. 
but you can see all those those trains are almost completely full of meat they're all just waiting to come in so we will be finished shortly there we go let's see how we did All right, we got our 30 uh, rating. We completed 10 out of 10 tasks, 17.3 uh, on the timing, total score of 34.7 because we did play this in normal pause mode. And uh, the one thing I would say is that any any lack of perfection here in this one was, was probably due to the shipping meat down to Omaha and the uh, production of our um, meat industries. But overall, pretty good result, and um, it just showed the power again of uh, the rapid expansion and if you, those uh, the power of the the beer meat lines. I know I've said that 55 times in the last uh, two videos, but that's the game. The game is establish beer meat, uh, provide cattle, provide wheat, make sure they grow, and then. Uh, depending upon what you need to do, if you need to grow cities to big sizes, get your pass-through warehouses going. If you need like this, you need spread out growth everywhere. Just keep get, keep that uh, going and throw a few little items in there extra to help a couple cities grow, and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.